r slash 90 day fiance willing underscore no 7674 says never missing a chance to interject himself into every conversation gabe included photo interesting many 509 says so annoying butters 9 says tell me i'm wrong he fully expected to be at a history channel filming of ancient aliens only on serious 3084 says he was the only one speaking up and he can't help his facial expressions some ppl are simply expressive without gabe this would have been so boring posh dog 4444 says this guy is so conceited I don't understand why Isabel's going to have a very hard time with his little ego. I've grown to dislike him. He's got a very big mouth everybody else, but look inside yourself you're an immature conceited little frick head that paid a man to lie about how many women like you, you're not that good looking, and why would you not, if you're so much in love with your wife let somebody sit there and say that you're a fraud. HMB6913 says. Except when it came to Chris he was suddenly quiet. Sersum says. Jackass, Gabe attacked everyone for the same stuff he did himself. He's telling Nicole to divorce Mamoud in the next preview, because he was too friendly texting a girl in China. Meanwhile, Gabe's hanging out at clubs, flirting face to face with other women. And, he's upsetting his wife. And, when his friend called him out, his reaction was a sheepish grin. He blew it off, like it was no big deal then, Gabe the jackass calls Rishi a coward for not standing up to his family. That's when I nearly had an aneurysm. Gabe is a coward who didn't stand up to his family when he let his sister bulldoze Iceball. In fact, he seemed to have encouraged it shame, Gabe, shame. One Manifest Destiny one says. He constantly made faces and it really irritated me. R slash 90 day fiance. Proof Artichoke 1849 says. Is Nicole the biggest crier on the show? She cried so many times. She even cried on the tell all. The other person I could think of who's a crier is Arela, because she cried after her mom left, during the pregnancy, and during the circumcision. However, at least she didn't cry at the tell all whereas Nicole, it seemed like she was crying, or on the verge, or crying during every episode. I'm not sure. Am I just imagining things or what? Palm 2512 says. We should play a drinking game every time they say my love. Usernames underscore suck underscore ok says. Nicole not only seems to cry more, but she cries about less. Crying because Mamau got pissed at Gaby's just. Modern Carrots says. Darcy. R slash 90 day fiance. Long term 6250 says. Clueless RN. My marriage is next month and my fiancé has issues with my color point its. Arrange marriage, it got fixed before 2 months, when he saw me for the first time with Macup, and I mentioned him clearly I've dusky skin tone and dark circles, him. Not a VC person or I don't like sending pics when asked for, he constantly keeps forcing me for video call, and after last night VC he texted me you've kept me in dark at this, it hurt me a lot and all, your dark circles are very prominent I don't feel comfortable in my own skin now, not sure if I've to call this off now. Fotomin says. This is only the beginning of a lifetime of criticism. Laoella Reed 91 says. This does seem unrelated to the sub, but, dump his ass in the dirt. You can't spend the rest of your life with someone like that. Avc1975 says. I feel for you, but this sub is a snark sub about a TV show. Zellau City Lunders Car 1811 says. He's not the one. Benthidia Monback says. Call it off. Seriously. Call it off. 
Life is too effing short. Call it off now. Anyhow, this sub is for the TV show. R slash 90 day fiance. Ecstatic underscore turnover underscore 55 says. I love the pillow talk PJS. Pillow talk is my like third backup of things to watch, because while it's entertaining, it's a lot of raw watching something that I just saw yesterday. Anyway. My favorite thing about it is that you know a bunch of them bought their PJS for the show, and I think it's so damn cute how they were out shopping and thinking yeah. These duckies are going to make me look cute. And they right, they do make them look cute. Sactus and General says. I like the PJs too, whether they pick them out or not. I also loved when Kenny and Armando sent Robert, of Robert and Annie, some socks to wear. Interesting many 509 says. Annie from Thailand, has some cute outfits. Kitapia says. Yara said that they received the pajamas from TLC. r slash 90 day fiance. Edmang1 says. Crease. I've never been so irritated with a person I'm not even interacting with lol. Lies on top of lies, and whatever pointless truth she did tell, were out desperately on to save face, fixing her earrings, brushing hair, rolling eyes, all the body language screaming, that she's full of shit, I felt so bad for Jimmy. And to top, if off you had Debbie's slave master's wife looking ass feeding into it, and calling her a predator? These frick, I'm people, smh. Poshdog4444 says. I'm so, frick, I'm disgusted with that pillbilly lying pig from the beginning the way she treated her wife was a disgrace yet during to tell Al's nobody stands up and calls her out for her horrible behavior, lies, deceit, drug abuse, vicious behavior, constantly ghosting her we have receipts, it's making the show seem very prejudiced against foreigners. I hate to say that, but it's looking that way. Dustbunny68 says. Damn. You right, though. R slash 90 day fiance. K who says. Al Simmer at the tell all. Not really a fan of the way everyone is attacking Al Simmer at the tell all. Jen calling him a loser I just find it so gross and tone deaf. Remember Ed and Rose and everyone could clearly see it's a gross and borderline predatory situation, but with Debbie it's like, oh no, gotta protect the poor little old lady. Just because Debbie is a woman doesn't mean it's not borderline predatory on her part, to have been talking to a 21 yo, when they first started talking. Sorry, I really dislike Debbie, and never want to see her on my screen before. Her son needs to take away her iPod and phone lol. Do a decimal 111 says. I agree, Debbie is 2 years older than me, and I find her so self-centered. I don't think I could be friends with her cause of the silliness. I mean, we get very lonely at this age, if you're all alone, but there's always ways to join groups for trips, lunches, book clubs, hiking, etc. Babysitting for relatives is great. But as far as being with a 24 year old kid, and letting your son bully him is too much for me. Deb is a walking sideshow. It's too much for me. Specialist underscore wallaby17 says. No. Lauella Reed 91 says. I think she's super eccentric and people equate that to likability. A lot of times the whole, if roles were a versed argument ends up being kinda stretched, not always of course, but this is one of those times where I feel, like we should look at it that way. Can you imagine, if she was a guy? And the hate, that would be coming her way. Alcimer is scamming her clearly, but she's also predatory. Exactly the same as Rose and Edition. Rose wanted a better life and her options were to pimp herself out to that gross pose. It's sad but true. I have less sympathy for Alzama. He's a major jerk as well, but you're totally right. Dawn Grace says. How is Debbie not a red hat lady? 
she'd fit right in, is she may be one of those I don't have any women friends kind of people. Wise Tourist 6747 says. Debbie has main character syndrome. R slash 90 day fiance. Nessa Linda says. Name of Chris fashion line. As we all know, Chris has an interesting sense of style. What should the name of her fashion line be? Mind glass magic, why? Because glass is a slang term for meth, and she likes to dress up like a unicorn, glass magic. What's your take? Farquad the Greek says. Someone died and I got their hat. Ajasso says. Fenty. Poshdog4444 says. Thrift store extraordinaire. Full underscore pepper underscore 164 says. Heron. Winter underscore day underscore 6836 says. Punky Brewster's closet, when? She was 12. Play old Witteladikud says. Glass half empty. Poshdog4444 says. Pillbilly chic less. Veraka Salt says. She's not that clever. Emma Crafty says. Methus. 90 day dragon lockup says. Smock in foils. Hamamono says. Tweakers. Momo 753553 says. Goodwill dumpster. Haritha says. Me more Deba's closet. Forgot my hotkeys says. High flying stylin. Naive watercress 4983 says. Pilbly chic. Sersum says. Estate sale couture. Successful cat 8562 says. Whilst dead course she has no idea what the frick she has put on. Love 2 pug says. Mikmuth. Wasak 74 says. On sale at the local special Kmart. Kerry R55 says. Blossom. So. You never have to grow up. Blueberry Wiffles 000 says. I what a way I went to a yard sale when I was high, or mothballs and regret. Bitcherero90 says. Fentingwa, TJ. Meth. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.